What's up, Legends? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're here at Modern Warfare Zombies, and we're going to be rocking what I believe to be the final handgun that I have yet to cover across the entirety of the MW3 and MW2 choices. This is going to be the P890, and it's been actually so long since I've used it that I don't even have the bioluminescent camo unlocked for it. That is a benefit. We are going to be able to get that unlocked throughout this run. And of course, I did come in suited up with a few things, so let's go ahead and pop our perks, and we will even pack a punch to level one before we take on our first challenge. Obviously, the goal for this run is to make it into the high threat zone to complete as much as we can, and we're going to progress as we feel it's necessary, or, I mean, basically just as we have to, to make our way into that high threat zone. So first step is I'm going to make my way probably across the map a little bit here to get over to our first contract, and we'll see how things go. I definitely got one of the worst possible spawns on the map. I honestly get that spawn way too often. It took me over five minutes to get across the map to my first bounty, mostly because there wasn't a single vehicle between me and this location that I made it to. Which is kind of unfortunate. Sometimes there's vehicles, sometimes there isn't. That's just one of the worst parts about getting a terrible spawn. Sometimes it takes you a lot of time to get to where you're actually trying to go. We also have a lot of latency in this lobby for some reason, as you can see. What in the heck is going on here? Alright, hopefully it subsides. It seemed like it was happening a little bit at the, off the rip. Luckily we have a pretty decent weapon here. Come on! Do we reload? Why is everything happening so delayed? Alright, let's get through this guy. Um, out of ammo. Not what I was anticipating on happening. How did I run out of ammo so fast? This is kind of stupid. All right, let me throw that. I'm gonna have to try to get ammo from a zombie. All right, we gotta stop. We gotta stop with that for now. All right. Need to drop ammo. Someone needs to drop ammo. The zombies are so annoying. Like, they shouldn't... Be, it shouldn't be possible for them to not drop ammo. Like, they... It should be guaranteed. How do I kill three zombies and there's no ammo? There's an ammo. Gave me 22 rounds. It's not even enough to do a tiny bit of damage. I also didn't pack a punch for this, which I could have done, which is fine. I guess I could pack a punch to get my ammo, right? I guess we'd do that. Let's see. Pack a punch. I forgot because I went to the machine, meleeed it to keep the camo. Well, at least the lag seems to be a little bit better. All right, zombies, slow down, everybody. There should be a longer time between this guy's blasts. He's just spamming them. All right. Come on, buddy. Get out of here. It's funny because when I think about the category as a whole, I feel like the handgun category actually supersedes the shotgun category. Now, I know some of you might be thinking there's no way because the Reclaimer 18 is so much better than some of the pistols and the Lockwood 680 is better than some of the pistols. I will say that is probably true, but overall, if I'm going no attachments or I'm going no slugs across the entirety of the shotgun category, I'm choosing a handgun probably eight times out of ten, give or take just depending on the handguns that you decide to go with. But I think there's definitely more than a handful of, of handguns that are surprisingly pretty good to use, even if they aren't supremely upgraded, like, you know, pack three legendary, things like that. So it is kind of interesting, but I definitely think the shotgun category really does feel kind of lackluster in this, in this uh, zombies experience, as opposed to some of the previous ones. But I do think the handguns are actually a little bit better than people ever give them credit for. Please don't be a disciple. If this is a disciple, it's going to be like borderline impossible. Mangler, we got some luck. Let's go. I don't know about you guys. You'll have to let me know down in the comment section below. But I can always tell when it's a weekend when I'm playing this game, regardless if I know what day it is or not. Just based on the fact that the servers on the weekend function so much less efficient. Like I definitely have way laggier lobbies on the weekends than I ever do during the week. It could just be time of day and when, you know, most of the players are active and things like that, which totally lines up with the weekend, right? Weekend, nighttime, that is going to be when I would say probably the majority of people are going to be on throughout the week. So it does make sense that the servers go through a little bit more issues, but it is kind of frustrating sometimes when you're playing zombies and you have so much latency to deal with, and it doesn't always matter what lobby you end up in. Like, you're going to lag no matter what you do. All right, guys, you're easy to take out, but can we limit the numbers? I need to focus up on our bounty here. These dudes are falling off the roofs and stuff. Like, what is it? How do we get so many zombies? Come on. Come on, guys. We can do this. Like, I'm able to take the zombies on, but they got to stop spawning. Or I'm never going to get to fight my dude. He's just spamming the, the freaking thing, too. Come on, buddy. Like, give it a break. Come on, man. I can't wait to do pistol only challenges or handgun only challenges and 
Black Ops 6. It's going to be so interesting to see how how many rounds we can actually make it. Now, it's not going to be the same as the old days where the pistols pretty much become inefficient at, like, round, I don't know, 10, I guess? I don't remember exactly. It'll probably be more in, like, the 20 rounds, but I guess it also depends what attachments we have on and all that stuff. This is actually pretty interesting. This latency could work with me a little bit here. I think we'd be better off, but we have to make the best of it. Just spam, spam, spam. I can't even see his health bar moving. Come on, spam, spam, spam. Did any of these guys leave me some ammo behind? Is there any ammo on the ground? Did I miss any? I do need some. It'd be really nice. Oh, I think I see some. Nope, that's not. It's a trick. Oh, here we go. We got a little bit extra ammo. Okay, feel a little bit better about it. I wish I could feel a little bit better about this connection, but we're just going to have to work our way through it. It's an extra added element of difficulty. Can you survive the latency? Spiking from 50 to 100 plus ping. Even though you could connect to probably 30. All right, we're getting through this. There's a little bit of a strat strategy involved. If this was a disciple, it'd be such a pain. It's a good thing we don't have to upgrade our thing right away. Want to do this pack one. Look at all the bullets registering so late. Come on, man. Holy smokes. I just needed... How many more bullets? I can't even see his health bar. Show me the health bar. All right, he's like super weak. Will he run down... Uh, it doesn't really matter where I run. All of them are kind of far away. I'm going to run this way. All right, zombie. You didn't drop me nothing because you didn't die. All right, I made it over to grab some ammo. We're back. Hopefully we can get rid of this guy pretty quickly. That is one thing I'm kind of surprised by with this weapon. Most handguns, it's actually kind of hard to run out of ammo with. But this thing is burning through bullets. Partially... Pr oh, why are we got a mimic on us? Why do we have two mimics on us? What the hell just happened? We've been by this infested this entire time. Oh my god, this challenge just becomes so stupid. Give me... Give me a break. Why is it when I'm always down on my bullets and they try so hard to walk around me? Bro, stop trying to dodge. Latency, help me out here. God damn. We're trying so hard. To, dude, I can't even... There's no even animations when I plate. Just con consistent. I can't even find my, my dude now. Where's my guy? Oh my god. This is the most annoying part of doing bounty sometimes. Like, I'm trying my best to fight the freaking bounty that I came here for. And I got literally two mimics, a disciple. Like, what are we doing? If I'm using a weapon that's actually upgraded, we don't have these issues. Can, can, can we just get through the, the freaking mangler? I'm trying to kill the mangler. He's going to kill the rest. Oh my god, but we're lagging. Come on, game. Work with me here. I will not miss this element of the game. Like, the fact that this is just... Because it's, it's because you're connecting to 24 other people, the game has to have a connection issue. When you connect to your own instance, you don't have this problem. All right, there we go. Everybody exploded. That's the benefit. We made it through. Speed, cola, nothing good reward-wise. All right, we got a Mimic practicing theater. Let's go ahead and pop our epic tool now. We, we did the, the pack one bounty, and that was an adventure. I think we're going to be able to cook a little bit faster now. Problem with the pistol is oh my god this latency is just crazy it goes from zero to like just a bunch oh we got the nuke that's gonna help us a little bit watch out dude come on can you move a little quicker why do you only move fast when i have a bunch of zombies chasing me now i actually have an opportunity to take you out and you're freaking moving like a turtle Go over there all right we're gonna be able to get through this it's actually surprising how fast this thing goes through ammo for a handgun Kind of a little bit ridiculous. You can tell when it lags, too, because the, the bullets, they shoot even faster than they're supposed to. They all kind of register at once. Why is he moving so slow? It's very weird. Come on! It's not noticeable how much damage we're doing. I can tell you that. Come on! This is why this thing goes through so much ammo. It's, just, it's definitely not, not doing a ton of damage. This might be one of the worst pistols I've used in a while. Like, I definitely used, what was it, the GS50, the Deagle recently, and that thing actually was smoking stuff. I've used the, I guess, more in more recent to MW2 type of handguns like this. I even used the Damon. Like, it's been a while since I used it, but that thing was actually pretty solid. This, not super solid so far. It's actually a bit of a challenge, but hey, that's why we use them, right? That's why we use the different weapons. That's why we try them out. It's fun to see what levels of ability they have or what capabilities they have. All right, we finally made it through. Thought we were gonna run out of ammo once again. Ooh, quick revive, a free perk that we don't actually have. That's kind of a W. Oh, we got our, our camo. 
Let's go. What? Bioluminescent. Unlocked in this run. Holy smokes. All right, let's get some extra plates and let's make our way to our next adventure. Okay, I feel like I got totally trolled because I could have swore. I would have put money on it, honestly, that I popped my epic tool. And somehow, even though I'm pretty sure I hit square on it, it did not activate. So now we have our epic tool activated. That explains a lot about why that mimic was such a pain in the butt to actually take on. But most importantly, I'm just so confused how that was even possible. And I didn't notice because I was generally under the assumption that it was already activated and I didn't even need to worry about it. So that is very interesting. It could have been a symptom of the lag a little bit, but definitely a little bit funny to realize on my way over here that we weren't even pack a punch one epic rarity yet. Now we do have a disciple, so there is a case here where we might have to go pack a punch level two and we'll see what we can do. But I kind of feel like this is going to be a little bit of a difficult task at hand here, especially if I can't break the ability off oh, his hand. OK, I did. Oh, we're doing OK. OK, maybe maybe I was wrong about the pistol. Maybe my whole issue with the pistol was the fact that I thought it was still pack one purple and it wasn't. It was still just pack one. All right, I'm going to throw this because I can't seem to get this stupid disciple. Stop moving. Stop moving, bro. It's, you can actually just, I don't know. You can see the latency in this. This is frustrating to say the least, but we're going to we're going to try to make our way through this, even though it is the less ideal situation to be in. Yeah, like I'm pressing buttons and it's like it's lagging backward and it's not doing it. Like I threw a nade, didn't throw the nade. I had to throw the nade again. Kind of weird. Kind of weird. Come on, Polar. We need you to go down like as soon as possible here. Nope. Everybody needs to leave me alone. Oh my God. There is no way we're out of ammo again. Come on, game. Hook me up. There's got to be ammo on the ground. I'm, just, I'm so tired of killing zombies and not getting ammo. Like, who designed that? It should be three. It should not be three zombies. No ammo. Come on. Oh, this is so frustrating. Give me ammo. Oh, my God. Switch to the switch to the gun. This dude, I'm going through it in this match. This is so frustrating. Just. Just give me what I'm looking for here. I shouldn't even... Like... So dumb. Look how much health it got back. This is one of the biggest problems with certain guns and doing these types of challenges. Come on! If these freaking zombies would go away. Stop spawning! Or provide ammo. One or the other. The fact that I'm using all of my ammo on zombies when I have to try to finish this guy off. Just making it impossible. All right, we got a backup self-revive, which is absolutely fantastic for the weapon that we are currently working with. I don't think there's a single handgun that I can think of that blows through ammo as fast as this. And I'm not talking about in a reload sense. I'm talking about just running out of everything in the reserve. Could be the fact that it's able to shoot so fast. It could be the fact that it just doesn't do enough damage. But at least at this point, now I feel comfortable. We're going to go ahead and pack a punch to level two because we are running low on time. Lost a little bit of time on traveling around the map and also the fact that we... Kind of forgot to be pack one purple, like a whole bounty earlier. All right, we got a mangler for the pack two purple bounty, which is kind of kind of cool. I mean, it could have been more fun if it was a disciple because it would have been more challenging, but at least now we'll get to see what this thing's actually capable of. Let's make sure we reload, get all of the ammo we can possibly. Can I reload? As I say, get all the ammo that I could possibly hold on to. And let's see how fast we can take this guy out. Lag included. The funny thing about the latency thing is, I don't know if you guys have gotten the pop-up where it's like a little survey. Was your connection good or bad or how was your connection throughout the last match? It's never once asked me that after a match where the connection was as bad as it is in this run. But that's always fun, right? It only asks when it knows the connection was good. That's what it feels like. Well, I have no idea what to expect for this besides the fact that we might just run out of ammo trying it, but we're going to give it a shot, right? Like we're not going to let that hold us back. Come on. Come on, Mega. Holy smokes, triple hellhound the second I go over here. All right, yeah, we're 100% going to run out of ammo unless something drops a bunch. Like, it's kind of insane how little ammo this thing has. You would think it would have like 250 or something. Ooh, we definitely need that amount. Go, 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 go. I have to take advantage of the lasers while I got them. Oh, we actually broke the face. I'm actually proud of our, our little handgun here. Come on, everybody, run this way. I need everybody to come together. If you're going to fight me as a zombie, come on. I need some ammo. Let's go, everybody together. Everybody's so slow when the when I want them to be fast, and then when I want them to be slow, they're all freaking super speed. Okay, I got to go this way. Nope, that shouldn't, shouldn't have happened. 
Okay, we're st I'm I'm blocked. Can you move? Thank you. Can we move? Why am I getting hit? Oh my god. Can the zombies cooperate here? I'm trying to get some ammo for my journey. So sooner, yep, exactly. Sooner you drop it, the better off we're gonna be. Thank you very much for supporting our journey. Why the heck are you guys respawning so fast? Oh my god. I'm just trying to fight my mega bomb in peace. It's like, bro. Kind of ridiculous. At least we're getting ammo. Otherwise, I'd be more upset. If we were just fighting him to fight him, it would be horrible. Come on, get a little closer. Come around this, come around the bend. Come on. You can do it. Yep, right there's perfect. At least you're close now. And we got rid of all of our zombies. Can we do this? Let's go. We still have over 10 minutes to go, and we still have to complete a tier 3 bounty. We might be upgrading for that. I don't know exactly yet, but we might be. We're definitely going to be getting all the perks. Let me jump down here and then jump back up, because somehow that works. Okay, get rid of him. All right, maybe if I go over here. Stop dropping red slings and look this direction. Laser, please, anytime. Anytime you want a laser. I don't know why he's just moving back and forth. Get out of here, red sling. Thank you. Sometimes just getting the mega bomb to cooperate is just a whole challenge in itself. Come on, you can do this. For some reason, you guys want to try this. Make sure you check the pinned comment down below and I have the loadout set up for you for easy access. I don't think a lot of you are going to go out of your way to rock this this handgun or pistol unless you're just trying to wrap up your camos. Luckily for us, this was one of the few weapons I don't have the bioluminescent. Why are you still doing that? Did they change you? Your behavior is super weird. Just laser. Thank you. I don't know why you treat me like you're on the ground with me, but I'm up here. You can't get up here. And you definitely shouldn't be able to make anything... Any attacks go through it. All right, we're almost there. Everybody, calm down. We need a little bit more ammo. Did, is there a single ammo down? Bro, move, move. No, I don't, oh, I see ammo. There we go. It's like I know I've seen an, an icon somewhere. We got this. And we got it. And we're getting hit at the same time. W, we survived. We still have to make it into the high threat zone, though, so the... Hardest part of the journey has yet to happen. Well, we made it over here to the high threat zone, but problem is I gotta grab perks and I don't have any decoys. We're good. I just need to make my way over here to grab some ammunition and some decoys. Hopefully we're gonna be able to get access to a bounty because it seems like there's definitely some people over here in the high threat zone and it doesn't seem like contracts are super easy to uh, grab with the amount of competition we have, but maybe we get lucky. There's also four of them already up and none of them are currently bounty, so. I'm hoping we get a lucky before the end of this run. We're going to be able to take one on. Okay, I made it over to a bounty. I'll tell you what, if this is a mega abomination, we'll try it without pack-a-punching. So say, uh, where's this guy located? I think I'm definitely pack-a-punching to level 3 for this. I'm running just short on time, so I'm trying to plan accordingly. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to get another opportunity at another bounty. I think pack 2 purple is going to be a little bit rough, just because we're going to almost inevitably run out of ammo like we've been talking about. That's really my biggest gripe with this this uh, handgun this entire run. I don't know that I've had a handgun where I've ran out of ammo as often as I have with this so far. And it's been kind of uh, definitely an obstacle. And you can tell because we have so much less time to work with and we're just now challenging our tier 3 bounty. So it definitely took us longer to get through some of the challenges. We obviously had the obstacle where I thought I was epic tooled and we weren't. And that definitely set us back a little bit. But we're, we're at least here to try to take this on. We'll see what happens. I don't know where dude is at. We have a bunch of zombies. Is this him right here? Oh, it's him right there. I honestly don't know if I've fought the Mangler in this location before. At least not to my my memory. Oh my god, look at how many guys are behind us. Throw this. Why we have such a horde? We had nobody. Go, go, go. Everybody go to the decoy. Everybody go to the decoy. I'm gonna need y'all to drop some plates for me. Big plate vibes. Big plate vibes. Let's go. That was pretty nice. There should be some more ammo on the ground, so we could be able to pick that up as we go. Why did you go all the way around the building? Come on. We're almost through this. Come on, latency. Bear with us. Okay. We're actually doing pretty good. Doing more damage than I thought we were going to. Faster than I thought we were going to. Come on. Reload. Come on, come on, come on. Run, run, run. Faster. We can do this. All right, we're good. I think we're good. Unless we get a bunch of stuff spawning on us, causing us a bunch of issues, I think we're good. Come on! 
at least with this, I don't wear my finger out too much with the trigger because you can only fire it so quickly. So you just kind of try to go consistent over anything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were trying to take me down. I respect it. But we came out and we prevailed. Handgun, regardless of it going through ammo quickly, we were able to make this happen. P890 MW2 handgun locking us in. I mean, at least it does pretty good against the zombies. Unfortunately, even if you had MAGA holding, this thing, though, would still be a pain because we just simply can't seem to consistently have enough ammo. Well, things actually worked out a little bit more perfect than I thought they were going to because obviously with people in the high threat zone, I kind of anticipated the bounties being a lot harder to get access to. Luckily for us, we were able to get the exact amount that we need because we got the first one, knocked that out pretty straightforward, pack three purple. I didn't even check, but I did notice this triangle is available. So we're going to try to take on this triangle also before, maybe before we take on our bounty. And then we'll do our bounty at pack three legendary. Let's just go legendary now, right? I mean, I'm sure we're going to be able to do this. Our biggest issue we already know with this handgun is more the amount of bullets we have than the amount of damage the bullets are doing. And who knows, our disciple might even choose to challenge us at the triangle. So this could be like a double whammy. I don't think I've ever done a contract while also doing the triangle. So that could be kind of interesting. Also need to stop bleaching off me, please. This could be fun. This is actually going to be a little bit challenging, I think. Come on, activate. Oh, that instantly destroyed it. Well, that's cool. That was not what I had in the cards, but I guess that works. Oh, no, no, no. Why did I went to slide and a zombie spawned underneath? Like, this game is built to troll, I tell you. Like, there's no way that happens. The timing on that is insane. I went to literally slide. There was nothing visible on my screen. Zombie hand pops out of the ground, becomes a solid object, and then does not allow me to go through it. Okay, we got double mimics. Come on. No, don't throw me off. Nice. No, you're going to throw me off for sure. Oh, my God. Come on. Give me a break. You guys couldn't take longer? I don't have another decoy. You guys just messed my whole plan up. And everybody's too slow. Look how slow you are. Oh my god. Bro, I, I'm gonna I'm 100 percent gonna go down here. There's no way. The zombies are hitting me from 40 meters away. Come on. Alright, we recovered. We managed to get around the wall of zombies. There's still another one up here. Take it down. Hopefully there's at least one more bounty for us to grab, because that was kind of unfortunate. I was hoping we were gonna get to take that on. But it, it immediately got disintegrated upon grabbing the triangle. Not something I've ever tried, but if you guys have ever had that happen to you, let me know down in the comment section below. That could be an easy way to kind of cheese a tier 3 bounty that I'd never, never thought of. So you could just grab a tier 3 bounty, go over to the triangle, start the triangle. The second the triangle starts, tier 3 bounty dies. Boom! Reward! I mean, we didn't... Did we get a reward? Oh yeah, a reward rift over there. I didn't even look. So we got double reward rift. We got this one over here. Let me get rid of you real quick. Check inside. Speed cola jug. We don't need the jug. Might as well have grabbed it, though. And we'll see what we got out of this. That was kind of crazy. Might have found the new secret, though. Pack 2, epic for another run. Love to see it. Oh, God. We got a mimic for this one. This is going to be rough, no matter what happens. Not as rough as this, though. Good lord. Ow. Stop. Stop. Everybody, stop. Like, I literally just want some plates. Ugh. Like, everybody moves so damn fast. And they come in so many numbers. We just, if we can get all the zombies to like stick together, it would be so much easier, but they're just so spread out. All right, now we can try to make our way across. I kind of want to get more plates, pick a few more plates up. We can make our way to our mimic. I'm hoping we're going to be able to take this out because this is going to be pretty rough, but this will be a good way to kind of wrap up the run that we've had. Been a bit of a challenge at times. We've had a few hurdles to, to make our way over in order to get this far, but we're making it happen. Dude, the amount of stuff chasing me is just getting a little dumb. That's like... I kill 10 hellhounds and they're somehow still hellhounds. I swear they'd just be respawning instantly. All right, let's go. Let's get through everybody. Everybody that was following. Let's get through it. Let's, oh, everybody wants to fight. That's not my mimic. Oh, God. That was a solid freeze up. We don't like that. We're almost through this run. Come on. Come on. Just bear. Just work with me here. Holy smokes. They're not stopping. Slow down. Stop coming up here. There's a freaking disciple somewhere. Bro. Oh, here it is. How do we not have bullets? It doesn't make any sense at all. Alright, there we go. Through that. Setting ourselves up. Plate, plate, plate. Everything. Plate. Alright, hold on to this plate. 
Our dude is somewhere over here. All right, I started shooting him, so at least hopefully he comes in this direction. Please reload. Come on, zombies. Stop spawning for a second. Our dude's on his way up. That is a max ammo, which I don't really need. Oh, I jumped off. Nice. That worked out. Go, 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 go. Okay, run. C2, anyone? Um, that's pretty far from where I'm at, and I'm kind of in a pinch here. Run. You should be so much faster with a freaking handgun. Come on, reload. Everything happens so delayed in this in this lobby because of the, the ping. Come on. I don't have any more plates, so I do. Come on, buddy. Can you come around the corner? I don't want to have to fight the zombies. I have enough bullets for this, I think. Barely. If we're going to have enough, it's going to be barely. Can we stop cut, trying to cut me off, zombies? Thank you. I wish this dude wouldn't go out of his way to try to dodge everything. Stay coming from the front, bro. Trying to get crits. All right, we got it. That was freaking ridiculous. Somehow, someway, we made it through this somewhat challenging run. I don't know how we were able to do it. But the only thing left for me to do at this point is make it over to the x -Fill. I'm at least happy that we were able to take on some pretty decent challenges and knock out quite a few challenges in general, I think, because I wasn't really sure what the high threat zone was going to have in store for us. We were moving at a pretty slow pace, if you ask me, leading into this zone in general. So I kind of had my doubts on whether we'd even be able to take on one bounty. But not only were we able to take on one, we were able to take on multiple and even knock out the triangle. Kind of finding out an interesting possible scenario for taking out, you know, high threat zone bounties pretty easily. Okay, we made it over to the Exfil successfully. This was a hell of a run. I swear we haven't had this many obstacles using even some of the worst weapons in quite some time. So it was definitely interesting to have a handgun that went through ammo as quickly as this one did. But that's going to wrap things up for us here. Thank you guys for all the support of this video, all the support in the channel. And I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Peace.